peeps, what's up? We're back at it again with another video. Welcome or welcome back. In today's video, we have the Gash Edit Collection from Wayne Gash. If you're ready to see what's up with this brand new brushes and how did I create this hopeful glim super quick and super, super easy using his brushes, keep on watching. Mwah. with this video don't forget that i would love for you to be part of the steffi glam r us fam because we are glamorous up in here so go down below and click the little red button so you can become part of it hey babe so in today's video we're gonna be doing a whole full get ready with me using this babies right here from wayne cash and i'm so damn excited because i've been had these brushes for a little longer than a week and i've been dying it to try them to use them and I'm like you know what I'm not gonna use them because I have to do a video and I'm gonna use them with my babe so here I am finally pretty sure you guys already know that I love and respect Wayne guys to the fullest when it comes to makeup I can never resist it doesn't matter if whatever he's coming out with looks weird or not I always get this feeling of I know that's gonna be good when you know you know right and let me tell you that the man knows what the heck he's doing when it comes to makeup to the T you guys already know that I have these brushes and I love them to pieces I use them every time I want the delicate nice airbrush flawless finish this and never lets me down and then here we have the gash edit collection they are $225 they are a set of seven handmade makeup brushes with a calligraphy inspired design each brush is carefully handcrafted by master artisans in Kumano, Japan's brush making capital. Whisper soft natural hair bristles that glides over the face without irritating sensitive skin or disturbing makeup underneath. So they are Sakoho Gold Hair, but the brush number seven is a blend of Sakoho Gold Hair and PBT. The process of this set, it is made of gray squirrels with the difference of the large one, it's made of gray squirrels and psycho gold hair. So this I really recommend for powders. I never use these brushes with creams or liquids. The new set, it is made again of psycho gold hair, which I personally like it way more because we can use them with cream, liquid, powder. So it's a little bit more convenient. So this is a maple wood handle, which hmm, I love. I think the whole white bristles with the black handle looks super exotic. He also included the little thinking right here that the other set also have the same situation and i like that i like the whole idea of him including these little things because i do hang them after i wash them and you don't have to wash these brushes every time you literally have to wash them occasionally i always like to have my microfiber towel and then i like to always clean them very gentle in my microfiber towel after each use for some people 200 and something dollars on a set of brushes it might sound crazy it might sound like whoa i will never spend that on a makeup brushes but i can never stress enough the fact of let me repeat this again a good set of makeup brushes a good makeup brush will change your makeup application all the way so natural hair makeup brushes that's me that's what i love i am way more picky with synthetic brushes i only like very little from a few brands and again the brushes are expensive but if you treat them good if you take care of them the appropriate way this brushes will last you forever if you're not a brush addict like me this is all you need like you only need a good ass set of natural hair makeup brushes and you'll be able to do your whole entire makeup and have these brushes forever so now i'm gonna be introducing you to each one of this brush and i'm gonna be telling you exactly what are they for the brush number one it is good for powder for bronzer blush highlighter all over the body the bigger brush out of the whole set and the bristles are so 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 soft 
comparing it to the large brush from the last set it is a little bit bigger brush number two it is literally a workhorse we can do everything with this brush good for powder liquid cream whatever you name it it is great for the buffing technique powder all over the face and it will give you a flawless application powder foundation cream foundation liquid foundation bronzer cream and powder and it's also good for cream or powder blush look how soft this bristles are number three it is good for highlighter precision powder contour cheekbones contouring the jawline contouring temples and contouring outside the eyes brush number four it is good for precision highlighting great for setting concealer under your eyes blending eyeshadow precision powdering and you can also contouring outside the brush eye. number five it is the perfect brush for hooded eyes it's an instant eyeshadow brush Go for spa conceal, blending liquid cream concealers, and precision foundation. Brush number six, it is go for soft wash of colors, delicate crease work, powder nose contour, powder nose highlight, and soft eye blending brush. And last but not least, we have brush number seven. It is go for cream eye bag eraser, instant smoky eye brush, go for cut crease, brow highlight lip color under eyeshadow brush lip brush cream nose contour cream nose highlight precision concealing and inner eye highlight so after i already gave you all the tea about these babies now let's put them to the test let's use them and i'm gonna start with foundation of course i already part my face i already apply my good creams and all that I'm gonna start with the brush number two, which is great for foundation. I'm gonna start with brush number two, which is go for any type of foundation. So I brought you all up in my girl. You guys know how much I love to have you right here, close to me. I don't know why I feel like I'm already like 10 minutes in the video and I haven't even started. I'm gonna be using a full B foundation. This one from Huda Beauty, it is the Luminous Matte and it is a full coverage because I wanna see how this brush works. You already know that when you use a more light coverage sheer foundation, they're a little bit easier to blend. So I really want to put this brush to the test. Okay, so I already shook my foundation and I'm going to be applying a pump right here on the back of my hand. That much. And I'm going to be grabbing a little bit with the brush. That's how much it picked up. Okay, the brush feels really nice and soft. Normally, I be using my Holy Grail foundation brush. It is the Bobbi Brown full coverage foundation brush. And it is taking me a little longer to blend, but again, I already have a hair right here. <laughs> Normally, this foundation would glide on my face with my Bobbi Brown brush. And it is giving me a more sheer application, even though that this foundation is full coverage. This foundation, it's a bit lighter on me right now because we already hit summer, baby. So I did need it more foundation than normal. Normally with this full coverage foundation, I don't need no more than two pumps. I did use a little more than three four you know, that's normal natural hair bristles are going to suck up more product than synthetic brushes we're gonna be going with concealer and i'm gonna be using my tarte ultra creamy concealer this is the shade 22 and right here don't get scared with my foundation being lighter we're gonna fix it everything's gonna look normal Back with brush 02 and I'm gonna be blending this first and then I'm gonna blend my under eyes. I'm gonna be using brush number five for my concealer. Okay, I'm blending my concealer nice and smooth. There we go. I like the fact that the little point gets in here. 
I'm gonna blend my nose. Okay. You can perfectly blend the bridge of your nose with the tip of the brush. Look how precise. I'm gonna be using brush number two again to blend the edges right here. Kind of like blend the concealer with the foundation. Before I blend this eye, I always like to have my powder ready. I'm gonna be using the yellow color from the Pomegranate setting powder. And I'm gonna be setting my under eyes with the brush 04. Yes, I love the way this brush is setting my under eyes. You know what? I like more of a bigger brush. I like to use the Inochige from Sonia G. So I'm gonna be using the brush 03 for powder under my eyes. Let me make sure I don't have no creases. See, I feel like this brush is a little bigger and perfect, perfect for the under eyes. Look at that. Yes, see? Brush number two, it is also good for concealer, to be honest with you, because it's not too big and it's not too small. So it does fit perfect under your eyes if you don't like to use, you know, smaller brushes for concealer. I'm gonna be using my Chanel on the deep shade. This is a new shade. I reviewed this baby already. I'm gonna link the video down below. And I'm gonna be using brush 02 to apply my cream contour. I'm gonna be swerving it in there and peep how it picks just the right amount. Let me see how this applies a cream contour. So, so far, so good. Really nice and smooth application. I don't have no streaking for my foundation or my cream bronzer. I really like brush 02 for the foundation and the cream bronzer. I'm not gonna contour my jawline yet because I'm gonna be using brush 03 for the jawline. So here I have the contour and bronzer palette from Wayne Gash. I'm gonna be going in with brush 03. And let me contour my jawline. Mm, it is actually really nice. See? It gives you the right size shadow. Look. With. Without. You can perfectly see it right there. Perfection. Nice. So let me set my face really quick and I'm gonna be using brush 01 with my Dior Cushion Loose Powder. Let me get in there. Mm. This brush is so soft. I'm gonna be setting it right here by my teeth. So Brushes are new. There is gonna be some hair shattering, okay? So juice, don't worry. After you wash them, that's going to stop. So I only set my teeth on before we go in with powder blush i'm gonna be trying the brush number two with cream blush so i'm gonna fits perfect right here and yes that's nice perfect application look how soft it looks mm -mm. Oh, what's bothering me is the hairs <laughs> they're falling but we can't stop that until we wash them the way it apply my cream blush sweet now we're gonna use bright poppy from Wayne Gash, and I'm gonna try the brush 01 with the powder blush I'm gonna be topping this off and beautiful so I'm gonna be contouring my nose with powder. I'm gonna be using his palette. So he recommends to use brush number six if you're gonna contour your nose with powder or brush number seven if you're gonna contour your nose with creams. I gotta fix my brows. So I'm going in with brush 06 and I'm gonna use the contour shade. Yes, 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 perfect. 
perfection so i wipe my brush off a little bit and i'm just gonna do a little tiny bit of blending right here very soft because i don't want to blend the lines away with the side of the brush see how nice it blends perfect i love it i forgot to apply bronzer i can't believe this i'm over here in my zone with these brushes i'm gonna go back with zero one and i'm gonna grab a little bit of the bronzer and let me apply right here i'm kind of doing like the buffing technique between the bronzer and the blush giving them more like a flush of color you see with brush number four i'm gonna be grabbing a little bit of my pomegranate highlighter with the tip of it i'm gonna apply right on the peak of my nose Now I'm going to be using brush number seven, which is the tiniest brush in the set. I think the next time this is a brush that I'm going to use for my nose contour. I even like my nose contour a little bit more snatch. So I think this brush will be perfect for that. I'm going to use this brush to contour my lips. I'm using the Wayne Gash Patle. And this is a brush that he recommends for lipstick. See, because it's nice and stiff, it's good for the lips. For this, for lipstick, lip liner, if you want to blend lip liner. So as you can see, I did this. I'm going to show you how I did it. And we're going to be using the Luxury Eye Palette from Wayne Gash. I'm going to use the brush number five. This is a brush that it's good for hooded eyes. I'm going to dig in this pretty brown. And I'm going to start right here on my outer V. You guys know I start all my shades in the outer V. It is a force heavy. This brush is not going to allow you to fuck up. You see how I'm just picking up the shade and all I got to do is just lay it there. And it's the perfect shape. Now with the tip of it, I'm going to grab the same brown. And I'm going to go in my crease. Look at that. Look at this. Look how nice this brush go in the crease. Look. And then with the same brush, I'm going to grab some of this black. And I'm just going to literally lay the black right here on my outer V. Look. I just wiped up my brush. And then I'm going to do a little bit of blending with the tip back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And we're done. Like, literally, look at the blendability that this brush allows us to just, oh, with the very tip, I'm blending right here. Now, with the brush number seven, I'm going to go back with the brown, and I'm going to apply it on my lower lash. I love how the brush number seven layered the shadow in my lower lash. With the same number seven, I'm gonna grab a little bit of this shimmery champagne shade and I'm gonna apply it on my inner corner. I'm gonna be wiping down my brush 04. And I am gonna wet it because I wanna get the most out of the shimmers. And I'm going to grab a little bit of this coppery shade right here. I'm going to apply this on my lid. These brushes give you such a sheer and natural application. It's not even funny. Like, the brushes got all the control. Look. I want to try to see how the same brush picks this shimmer right here. This is more of a thick, shimmery shade. So let me wet it because I want to save the mess. And let me pick it up. Look at that. Look at the difference between this one and this one. 
All right, guys, so I apply a little bit of mascara, very little. If you want this look to be way more dramatic, apply a pair of lashes and you're going to be popping. All right, babe, so I wanted you guys to see how uh, my face looks in regular Rio Natural Light. I do have my flash on, but this is the magic of Wayne Gash brushes. Look how flawless how natural everything looks all right guys so we are finally done with this whole full b glam that i did only using these brushes listen listen well damn like these brushes are perfection the way they apply everything my whole face my eyes they're just so easy to use. They literally do the job for you. You don't need to control the brushes. The brushes are going to literally control the product. I love the fact that I didn't need, I didn't feel the urge to use any of the brushes. Perfect set for traveling because you can literally do everything with just these brushes. Do I need the new set if I already have this one? I love this set, but with these brushes, we are more limited. We cannot do everything with it with these brushes with this ones. We can only do a few things. I literally only use these brushes. This one for powder and bronzer. I try to contour my nose with this one, but I'm not even gonna compare it to the other one because the other one gave me a precise nose contour. With this one, I gonna have to play a little bit more. And this, I feel that I need a bigger brush to powder my under eyes. So the brush number three, it is literally bigger than this one. So I think it's a perfect size to set your under eye. So you are getting brushes here that you don't have here. You cannot use these brushes with powder and cream and liquid and all that. You can only use this with powder. So this, a rip, is a winner. If you don't have these brushes and you are wondering which one to buy, this one, please buy this. If you are a heavy hander, these brushes are going to be the love of your life because they pick up the perfect amount of product and they lay the perfect amount of product so even if you're heavy-handed and you go ham and you just pick up a lot of product you don't have to worry at all with these brushes I really enjoy playing with them I really think they are the perfect brushes for nice sheer soft makeup application for sure let me know in the comment section down below if you already picked up these babies do you feel the same way I feel do you like them you don't like them you're not into natural hair makeup brushes you guys know I love chit chatting back and forth with you guys so drop that comment down below we are done with this video thank you again for another great video i love you all so damn much to the moon and back if you're not subscribed to my channel yet i hope now you are considering subscribing down below click the little red button and make sure your notification bell is on so youtube can notify you every time i upload new videos see you on the next one Mwah.